Energo Invest, 58 years of tradition and confidence. Energo Invest is a leading company in Bosnia and Herzegovina in a domain of designing and implementation of complex projects in both national and foreign markets. With its wide scope of activities, Energo Invest is known worldwide as a multidisciplinary engineering company which employs 900 employees. Energo Invest's capability for successful implementation of projects on a turnkey principle provides impressive international reputation. In March 2007, Energo Invest concluded a contract with Elektroprivreda of Serbia for realization of the project Ash Disposal System of Thermal Power Plant Nikola Tesla B, which represents the first ecological project of this kind in Southeast Europe. The project, at a first phase, valued at 28 million euros, was financed by the European Union, the European Agency for Reconstruction. Thermal power plant Nikola Tesla B is a power plant with two units, 620 megawatts each, and it is situated in Obrenovac in the vicinity of Belgrade. This thermal power plant represents the strongest support to electric power system of Serbia because it produces over 10 billion kilowatt hours of electric power annually. The thermal power plant is fueled by lignite from a neighboring mine Kolubara, from which coal is transported by railroad. Daily coal consumption varies from 70,000 to 90,000 tons per unit. Thermal power plants represent the basis for economic and business development of a society, but unfortunately also are the major ecological polluters. Fly ash and bottom ash are accompanying byproducts that remain after coal combustion in thermal power plants. The quantity of fly ash produced by one unit of this thermal power plant is up to 240 tons per hour and up to 16 tons an hour of bottom ash. Our team of experts ended up with a big challenge in this project. We should solve the way of transportation and disposal of fly ash and bottom ash with a minimal water consumption and minimal level of pollution, which satisfies all European standards of preservation and protection of nature. Previously used system of fly ash and bottom ash disposal on disposal sites involved mixing of 17 liters of water with 1 kilo of fly ash and bottom ash, so-called low-density slurry. Huge quantities of water from Sava River were used for this way of mixing and transportation. After draining, these huge quantities of water were returned to Sava River, thus polluting underground water on its path. After water draining, the fly ash that remains in mealy condition can be dispersed even by the weakest wind over nearby settlements and even to Belgrade. We replaced the old system of low-density slurry disposal with a new hydraulic transportation system of high-density slurry. At present, the mixing ratio between fly ash and water is one to one. In order to provide conditions for creation and transport of homogeneous slurry at ratio one to one, we designed and built two new fly ash silos, one bottom ash silo and three mixing units. After the coal combustion, the fly ash is taken from the following three points. From the fly ash collector of flue gas duct, from the fly ash collector of air heaters, and from the fly ash collector of electrostatic precipitators. Collected fly ash is transported by pneumatic transportation to a fly ash silos. In order to secure the operation of pneumatic transportation and control air system, we designed and built a compressor station, which is equipped with modern units for production of compressed air. Compressed air, as a key element of pneumatic fly ash transportation, is directed through the purposefully built system of compressed air pipelines. The continuous power supply of the new ash disposal system is provided by a substantial 6.6 .6 by 0.4 kV, which is designed and built for that purpose. The pipeline system for pneumatic fly ash transportation from electrostatic precipitators to silos is placed on the new leaning bridge with the total length of 550 meters. After the coil combustion, the bottom ash from boilers is transported to bottom ash silo by the new system of belt conveyors. 
The grandiose leaning bridge connects the thermal power plant and silos complex and represents the basic bearing element of bottom ash belt conveyor systems and pneumatic fly ash transportation system. Within the fly ash silos complex, we designed and installed three mixing units, which provide homogeneous mixture of fly ash, bottom ash and water. Two mixing units are placed below fly ash silos with capacity of 4200 cubic meters each, while the third unit is placed in the area between two silos. We used the technology of fly ash removal from a silo in such a manner that any of the mixing units can be filled from both silos. Advantage of this method is that in the case the fly ash silo that is currently being emptied runs out of fly ash, the emptying of the second silo will be continued towards the same mixing unit without interruption of the process. The bottom ash silo provides continuous bottom ash supply for all mixing units. In the silos complex, we designed and installed four slurry pumps connected in a row for each mixing unit, thus providing sufficient power for transport of slurry through the long-distance slurry pipeline to the disposal site. The long-distance slurry pipeline consists of three pipes with total length of 12.9 km, while the discharge of a slurry on the disposal site is provided through a 7.7 .7 km long distributive pipeline. Operation and synchronization control of the whole ash disposal system is performed by a digital automatic PLC technology. PLC, which stands for Programming Logical Controller, provides control of all elements of the system from one place. The new transportation and ash disposal technology reduced the possible level of influence of the ash disposal into the air and underground water pollution to the minimum since the disposed content is compact and wind dispersion of fly ash particles is therefore prevented. This ecological ash disposal system provides for the use of fly ash and bottom ash in civil engineering industry so that part of the waste becomes useful. Through implementation of this project, which is the largest ecological project in Southeast Europe, we responded once more successfully to the energy development challenge of the region, with the primary goal of preservation and protection of human environment. Energoinvest, your reliable partner in ecological energy development.